Well done for joining me for phonics again. This is a phase three mastery lesson. You're going to need a piece of lined paper and a pencil. Can you go and get that now? Pause the video and then click play when you've got everything. Let's begin. We're going to start by revisiting and revising our letter name. To do that, we can sing an alphabet song. And the alphabet song we're going to sing today is to the tune of Happy Birthday. Sing along with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I have circled four of the letters. I would like to see if you can tell me the letter names without singing a song to help. The first one was D, the next is I, the third is N, and the last one is U. Did you get them right? We are ready to read some common exception words now. These are words that we see lots in our reading books. Do you remember? There are some phonic clues, but there are also some tricky parts. Well done. Let's recall our sounds now. I'm going to show you a graphing, a letter on the screen, and I would like you to tell me the phoneme, the sound that it makes. Don't forget those actions. Remember, you only need to tell me the phoneme once. G. W. Do you remember we've mastered this one, haven't we? It's qu. This is lesson nine. We are going to be mastering another Phase three sound. I wonder what it will be. It's the letter C and H which together make the digraph ch. Can you practice saying the phoneme ch? Can you think of any words with the phoneme ch in? It may be at the beginning of a word, in the middle, or at the end. Pause the video and have some thinking time. Then click play when you're ready. Did you think of some? I thought of the word children, that begins with ch, and the word bench, which ends with the phoneme ch, and I even thought of a word with ch in the middle. 
Did you? I thought of the word orchard. We're ready to practice forming this digraph now. The C goes around in a curve. That's because it's a curly caterpillar letter. And the H is a one-armed robot letter. Let's practice the C first. We're going to put our finger in the air on the green dot. Remember, with this letter, we have to go over to the left. Let's form it together in the air. We're going to go over to the left and down. Wonderful. Let's do that one more time. Over to the left and down. Then the H is a one-armed robot letter. We have to go down to the bottom. Then we have to keep our pencil on the page to go up and over. So let's pra practice in the air first. Putting our finger on the green dot at the top. We're going to go down, up, over, down and flick. Did you keep your finger in the air without taking it off? Let's do that H again, starting at the top. Down, up, over and flick. Did you remember to do it all in one long movement? I think we're ready to practice on our lined paper now. If you pick up your pencil, you can put it in the middle of two lines on your page. Let's practice the C first. We're going to do our curly caterpillar C. Ready? Around to the left and down. And then take your pencil off the page and put it at the top of the line, ready for the H. Remember, you must go down to the bottom of the line. All the way down, keep your pencil on the page, up, over, down and flick. Wonderful. Can you pause this video and see how many you can form correctly in 30 seconds? Then click play. Let's read some words with the phoneme ch. I've already added the sound buttons, so what I want you to do is pause the video, sound out the words and blend them together. Then click play when you're ready. Did you sound out and blend the words? The first word is chip. The next is check. And the last one was chair. Did you spot that trigraph at the end of chair? I wonder, have you noticed something that is the same about all of these words? There is a pattern. Yes, the ch digraph is at the beginning of all of these words. We're going to practice writing some ch words now. And the first word I would like you to write is something we have on our faces. It's a cheek. Let's stretch out the word cheek. Ch, e, k, cheek. And put it on our phoneme fingers. Ch, e, k, cheek. How many phonemes are in the word cheek? Can you write down the word? When you've written it, you might want to add your sound buttons. I wonder if you can find that ch digraph. You may even challenge yourself to write the word cheeks because we have more than one cheek. What is that in the next picture? It's a chick. Can you stretch out the word chick with me? Ch, I, k, chick. And on your phoning fingers, ch, I, k, chick. How many phonemes in this word? Three, again. Can you write them down? The last word is the word rich. You are rich if you've got lots of money. And can you see all of those coins? Can you stretch out the word rich? Put it on your phoning fingers and then write it down. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. You might even write the word richer. If somebody has more money than somebody else, they are richer.
Can you tickle fix your answers? Cheek has two digraphs. So does chick. And rich has the ch digraph at the end. It's time to apply our learning and read a sentence. How many words are there in this sentence? Can you count them? And can you find any common exception words? How about the ch digraph? Do any words have that? Pause the video and read this sentence three times to help with your fluency and then click play when you're ready. Let's read the sentence together. You can hear the charming chug of the choo-choo train. Let's see the picture. There is the train chugging along the track. Thank you for joining me to master the digraph ch today. Well done for all of your efforts.